Hey everyone, this is DHTV and today I have a very important video concerning your privacy if you're running iOS 7. So whether you've just upgraded to iOS 7 or you've just purchased a new iOS device with iOS 7 installed, this video is going to help you. I'm going to show you exactly which settings you want to disable to protect your privacy. Let's get started. All right, so we're gonna focus on the settings application for this, and you wanna scroll down to where it says privacy, then you wanna tap on location services, scroll all the way to the bottom, tap on system preferences, scroll all the way to the bottom, and then you wanna enable where it says status bar icon. So enable that. Now you can see that it's pretty hidden and the average person wouldn't go looking in this area for a setting that would have to do with their location. Now this does tell you exactly what it does right here with the three colored arrows. So a purple arrow means that an application is using your location service pretty much at the moment or recently. A gray arrow will mean that an application has used your location within the past 24 hours and then the outlined in purple arrow basically means that an application is using a geofence and that's basically applications that would use stuff to remind you when you've arrived at a certain place or left a certain place things like that and why I'm telling you to enable this is so you can see which applications are using what now I went back here to where my location services are and it's important to always check on this and make sure that you don't have too many applications that don't need your location using it. So obviously, if an application is a game and you're not really playing online or anything like that, and it's using your location, I'd be a little questionable about that. You'd want to make sure you turn that on for starters. But also applications like this Best Buy one here, which I do use, if I go ahead and open up my Best Buy here, you could see that before it was in gray. But if I go ahead and jump back to my settings, now it's in purple because I did go ahead and use it. So now it's open and it's using my location at the moment. So it's good to keep track of this and make sure that you have control over everything here and that the applications aren't just running wild and using your location for who knows what. Now this is a very small one considering what I'm about to show you now and that brings us to the next setting here. And for this next one, we're gonna scroll down to privacy again. We're gonna go into our location services. We're gonna scroll all the way down to system services and we're gonna focus on these ones here. First, we're gonna focus on diagnostics and usage. You wanna disable that. Now basically, this is a setting that allows Apple to sort of track what you're doing on your phone anonymously, and what they do is send it to some type of customer experience program or something like that, who knows? And basically, you're giving Apple the authority and permission to monitor and record everything you do on your phone. The next setting we will be disabling is the location-based iAds. Now, way back in 2010, there was a big deal made about this because there was a possibility that Apple, its partners, and its licensees could use this data to basically track your iPhone's location or your iOS device's location and even the location data. And who knows what this could have been used for, but there was a whole report about this. You can search it on Google. They have toned it down quite a bit. Uh, at least that's what I've read but I still have mine off. And basically when you do turn it off, you're gonna get less relevant ads on your device, which personally I don't care because I don't click those ads and most people don't really care what the ads are that show up. Most people use their phones for the phone and what they have on it, not to click on ads and things. So by turning it off, you don't get tracked and it's a little bit safer for yourself. The next setting we're gonna be turning off really freaked me out and actually a viewer left a comment on one of my videos way back uh, pointing this out to me and it really freaked me out. Now you can see when I open it here, it's got a history down here and it can show you exactly where I was and how many locations I was in in those specific areas. Now it kind of freaks me out because it's recording this and I have no control of where this is going and if somebody can get this information or use it in any way, it really freaks me out. So what you wanna do is just disable that. You do do not need your phone tracking this and possibly having this brought out to the world in some way or form, especially since something like this sort of happened with iOS 4 with Wi-Fi signals and things like that or Wi-Fi towers. I'm not 100% sure on that, but turning this off will definitely protect you if something does go wrong down the road. For the next setting, once again, we are going to the privacy tab, but we're going to scroll down to where it says advertising from here. What we're going to do is turn on the limit ad tracking and we're going to reset the advertising identifier here and we'll tap reset. And I did a video on this a little while back. You can check that out on my channel. But if you tap on the learn more section, you'll get everything you need to learn about what the ad tracking actually does. And I'll read you what it says at the bottom here. It says, please note by turning limit ad tracking on, you may still see the same number of ads as before, but they 
may be less relevant because they will not be based on your interest. So that right there should tell you that there is something. If you have this off, it'll be tracking something that you're doing to grab what interests you or what you're doing on your phone and sort of send you advertisements that are basically targeted to what you do. So because it's doing that and it's somehow tracking something, you want to turn this on. That way it limits it. You don't care if the ads come out as a phone or if they come out as Kleenex boxes because really most of us don't click these ads. The next setting we're going to look at is in our Safari section here. This is the main page of the settings app. So we'll tap on Safari and you want to make sure that you've got block pop-ups on. You have do not track on. You have block cookies from third-party apps enabled. And you also want to make sure that the fraudulent website warning is also enabled. These are standard things you'd want to do on any browser. I find that Safari though still allows a lot of these things that aren't really used on other browsers. But also while you're doing this, you might want to clear your history and clear the cookies and data as well. I did a video on Safari and I do have a video coming up in the near future on a way that you can actually clear out all of this junk that really does pile up with your browser and things like that on your iPhone. So I will be posting that in the near future, but I hope this helps you guys. And if it does hit that like button and subscribe because I post videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, all about tech, how to's, tutorials, tips, tricks, everything to help you in the tech world. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. I will respond to every comment that comes my way and help you out as best as I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.